Hey everybody, it's Amy. Today I have for you some helpful tricks on how to apply your estrogen patches. And if you haven't done that before, it may seem pretty, you know, easy to, you know, to think you could figure that out, but when you have to apply them every two days, I'm telling you, it can get a little frustrating because you run out of room on your stomach um, or wherever else you're putting them, but I know most people put them on their stomach. That's where my doctor says I should put them. Um, so you start to run out of room because you have all the little sticky residue marks and it's kind of a pain in the butt to keep taking those off um, you know with alcohol or whatever every two days and then plus you also have to find room a lot of the times to do Injections of Lupron or whatever else you might be on so I figured out a really neat method on how to keep the patches organized on your body and How to just make it really easy so that you don't have to try to find new spaces for them um, Every time you have to change them. So here we go. Okay, so right now I have on three patches and I have to move up to four patches because I am um, doing a embryo transfer in about a week and a half. So I'm going from three to four patches today. And luckily I have my method to make sure everything goes where it should go. And what I will use for the sake of this video for educational purposes is a lip liner to draw on my stomach so I can demonstrate exactly what's gonna go where. All right, so for starters, you can see that I have three patches on right now, um, and I'm gonna just take those right off. So again, if you've never done this before, you can see the sticky mess that these leave behind, and it's really difficult to get off. Um, so obviously you don't, you can, you know, take it off with some alcohol if you want to, but sometimes you don't really have time to be scrubbing that off, so you wanna put you know, new patches on before you have time to take that off. So if that's the case, then I will show you what to do, but let me take these off first. Okay, so I just scrubbed myself for a while and <laughs> you can see it kind of still looks like the patches are on there because I was scrubbing so hard, but the residue will usually dissolve, um, you know, go away on its own with showering and whatever, um, but obviously it doesn't look very nice, so some people, some people don't want that on them at all. Anyways, so my method of applying new patches is to basically divide my stomach into three sections. So we can see over here, this is my left. I had the three patches on this side. Um, so what I do basically is I keep it underneath my belly button. So with my lip liner here, show you over here, over there. And then I make three, I kind of put it out almost to my sides right here. You can see it's not quite on the side, but almost. And then I divide this into three sections. These ones actually were um, kind of over too far to the center, so I'm gonna put a line right here, and I'm gonna put a line right here, and I wanna just make sure I have enough space to put two side by side. So one, and then two. One, two, and one on top of each other like that, okay. So that's good. Now, open up the patches. All right, so now, I had my patches last time in my, well, kind of left center quadrant. So you can either go start left to right or right to left. And so, since I had it over here, I'm gonna start over here this time. And then you just place them, if I can get this open. You wanna make sure you don't really get your fingers on the sticky part underneath, it's hard. There's not a lot of, you know, there's actually really nothing, at least on these patches, to grab onto. So I just place them and then 
take the rest of the wrapper off. Oh, oh, that's not what I just did there. Uh oh, oh well. And then I push, put them in this um, placement here. And I could have actually gone a little bit lower on these ones. Just depends on where you like them. They say you shouldn't. Oh, oh those are touching a little bit. They say that um, you shouldn't have them on your band of whatever you know your jeans or whatever you wear. But I find that that fluctuates all the time so that's really hard for me to judge but anyway so this will be on for the next two days make sure they're on there really good and then the next time I go to change my patches they will go in the center section and then I take those off and then two days later they will be in the left section and then I'll just keep going like that so you know you always know where they're going to go next and you always have plenty of room for your injections if you need to do that and then I always find that by the time I take off the ones in the third quadrant, the ones in the first quadrant have already kind of, um, the residue has already kind of come off by then, so it's a lot easier to take off than it was when I just took them off just now. So I usually just let it go um, and then just take off the little remaining when I have to put it in that spot again. So that's my method of applying the estrogen patches. It's not rocket science, it's not some huge secret, but I just found that because I'm a very organized person and I like things to make sense, that that was so much easier once I figured out how to do that, as opposed to just like randomly trying to like find space on my stomach and stick them anywhere that there was an open spot. Um, and of course, you know, if your doctor allows it, you can put them in other places of your body, but mine just want Mine wants me to just put them on my stomach, so you know, you start to run out of room after doing this for a while. So, anyways, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.